here is a Rock River Arms 9mm AR-15. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to bump fire it using a, uh, my rubber band technique. What the rubber band does is it, uh, it's an alternative uh, to the uh, tack triggers, uh, Hellstorm 2000 triggers and whatever the heck they want to call them. Uh, I do have to say those tack triggers do work, but in my opinion they're, you're going to get the same result with this and you don't have to pay 40 bucks. Rubber band technique, what you're going to do is just take a standard household rubber band. Uh, preferably the thicker kinds are better. What you're going to do is simply just wrap it around your trigger like so. Make it cooperate. And then you're just going to stretch it around the trigger guard. and hook it on via the other side. What that does is that puts, forces the trigger to push forward, forcing it to reset. So as you're bump firing, the gun's going to rebound off your finger a lot easier. It does the exact same thing like the attack triggers do, but only, like I said, it does not cost you $40. That was a 32 rounds bump fired from the shoulders.